9420 T's all done. Derek's going to go put it away. I'm going to get the 8520 pulled in the shop. That way we can start washing it tomorrow. The old 8520 is probably the dirtiest of the bunch. That's my fault. On the last day of harvest, when we finished in the mud, I was the one running this thing and I typically drive a little more quicker than the other cart drivers. I got it a little dirtier than the other tractor, as you can see. Yeah, I, I see Devin back there. Trust me, I'm trying to hold it in. Filthy. It's okay, little hoss. We'll have you cleaned up in no time. Now, hey, you can hear me. Don't tell anybody. That's my favorite tractor. Saturday, December 5th, 2021. Uh, it was a little before picture of 8520. We didn't even think about with Area 21 and the ease of harvest. We put less hours on our machines. Another aspect to chalk up to Area 21 is for time saving and hours. Genius. So that's kind of cool. We got Megan here, Decker's girlfriend, our fiance. Katie is going to come over. They're going to wash the 520. Finally, getting to the project we've been wanting to do since about August 11th, 2020. Day after the Direco raid show. We had a crew come and clean up the old bin site. So luckily we don't, all, all the concretes foundations are gone. This is just some old stuff that we didn't know what to do with. A lot of it's going to end up going to the scrapyard. We're going to work on cleaning this up today because the next week forecast, there's some chances of snow. We want to get this done so it's not covered in white dust. Our next project is cleaning out the barn. So we got this van trailer. Dad found it down at the state fair. Actually, they stored paper plates in it. It's not the prettiest thing, but it's gonna work for what we're doing with it. And then we got parts from, those are from the Raptilator build. Everything that's in the barn that we wanna keep and go through, it's gonna find a home in here, like weights for a tractor. Semi tires are actually gonna go up in that shed up by the semi shed. We got a lot of old implement stuff. Plans to tear this barn down just because the storm damage it took coming an eyesore for us. This rock box was on our 9420 wheel tractor that we traded the quad track for. That's going to be a project is putting this rock box onto the quad track. I'm starting to ramble and Decker will probably be like, quit, quit talking so much. You're just, just babbling. We'll probably get a camera set up in here and start cleaning. Megan and Katie are washing 8520, old Bucky. Well, we're gonna start cleaning out the barn. Yeah, we need to get a return on our parts. We want our money back. Yeah. From our parts that are tools that are 20 years old. Right. You think they'll give us some money back? Yeah, I doubt it. Our uh, farmyard, we always kept it really clean. But after the derecho, show, you know, we had a lot going on. After we get this cleaned up, this will actually be the cleanest it's probably ever been in a long time. It's never been really messy at all. We've, we've always kept up good on it. But the old bin site in the barn, we're always just kind of cluttery. So it's kind of nice to get it all cleaned up.
other day, DJ and Bucky pretty much got all of Area 21 kind of cleaned and tidied up. The only thing really left to do is clean the inside of the dryer. So that's what I'm doing this morning. Up here to the top section, as you can see, that's all it really is. All I gotta do is blow this thin layer of corn and dust out. I'm guessing as I go down the layers, it'll get a little worse and worse. I'm guessing the bottom section will be the worst. Of course, it never fails. I should have brought an extra battery up. The battery died on me. What was I thinking? It came prepared this time. I got battery here, battery in this pocket, and the third one down in this pocket. I also brought a little crawl bar slash scraper in case there's anything caked on down in the bottom section, which I think there is. Second section is clean. Time to go into the hidden compartment. This will be fun. There's even another trap door to get into the very bottom section. In this very bottom section of the dryer, which is the cooling section. And like I predicted, this is gonna be the worst place to clean because it's got all these fines collected in the very bottom. But honestly, it's not that bad. And they got a nice clean out door I can shove all this stuff through. A lot easier to clean than our old easy dryers, that's for sure. Pitter patter, let's get at her. a lot worse than I thought I was gonna be. Still a lot easier. So that's the second half to do. I could fall asleep in here and no one would know I'm here. Might just take a little break before I finish this job until someone wonders where I'm at. Like, hey, where's Devin? Oh, he's been gone for like three, four hours. What's he doing? I'm hiding. No one's gonna find me in here. No one's gonna know to look in here. Just got the other side done. Now to get back on the outside and clean the mess I made on the ground. Look at there, dryer's all nice, cleaned up. Now I don't have to worry about it. camera died so a little update here that's where we're at wow you guys are making some great progress what? wow <laughs> it looks like a war zone we've sorted out what's junk sorted out what we're gonna keep kind of tires are gonna go somewhere else so now we're just sorting through some final things and we're gonna put them in this trailer We got a 
pallet jack in there, ready to go. Wins mode. Thank you, Wins mode. A lot going on out here, that's for sure. It looks like a like a camp. We got the campfire going. Fire. A lot of goodies in here. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire songs. Sam P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Just been grinding, putting stuff in this trailer. It's uh, about half full. Starting to shape up a little bit. A lot of the stuff that's left is a bunch of tires. Some of them are junk and then a lot of other junk. Probably about five o'clock. Pitch black out. It's always nice. Just love it. Well... We made a really good dent in here today. Feels really good to get this cleaned up. We've got just about everything we want to keep in the trailer. We got a bunch of good tires right over here that we're going to put up in that little shed. Really solid day. You guys remember our July, August 23rd, yeah. Yeah, August 23rd, when Decker had his hay accident. After going back and forth with insurance, we're getting enough to repair the trailer. So here we are picking it up, taking this front axle, the, the tires off so we can just drag it home because the rear axle is okay enough to be roadworthy. We might have found some axles to replace it with. The goal now is just to get it home. I don't remember how much video we showed of the damage. The hit was on the driver's side, which is over here. The other wheels, a lot more banged up. Kind of did one of these numbers because she she hit it and the front of her bumper kind of hit the top of those two wheels right on the top there. So it kind of tweaked them in. Kind of hard to tell maybe in a video, but it kind of it kind of curves like that. It did the same thing right there. You can see it broke that brake. This whole thing is bent. Yeah, it just twisted the whole thing again. Right now we're just going to ratchet strap the front axle up because when we pulled it over here, it was just dog trailing the whole time. And we only got to go back 10 miles back home, so we'll see how it rides. We got our contraption rigged up. Left turn works. Right turn works. Brakes work. It seems to be really pretty solid. I like how it's looking so far. Oh my gosh. I think it'll buck. Bucky. He lives to see another day. And it's gonna buck. Let just let her buck. That is what we call a full send. Hey, we made it. How about that? Some axles. Maybe tomorrow. Patience. Just wait. Sometimes things just come about. That's even good. Prepared for it. That's right.